The Neogene period is the second of the Cenozoic era's three divisions. The Neogene, which means newborn, was named for the fact that the marine and terrestrial fossils discovered in these strata were more closely connected to each other than those found in the Paleogene period before it, that is about 66 million to 23 million years ago. When the Neogene epoch began, Earth appeared much like it does today from afar. However, appearances can be deceiving. Mountain ranges became higher, as sea levels dropped. The weather became cooler and drier. Species had to adapt to the climate or else they would have perished. Mammals and birds continued to evolve into modern forms during this time, while other forms of life remained mostly unchanged. Near the conclusion of the period, the first humans, also known as Homo habilis, appeared in Africa. Late in the Pliocene, certain continental migrations occurred, the most noteworthy of which was the union of North and South America at the Isthmus of Panama. During the Neogene, the global temperature cooled significantly, culminating in a succession of continental glaciations in the Quaternary period that followed. Let's dig deeper into knowing about the flora and fauna of the period. Animals that had evolved in isolation were able to travel to other places thanks to the continental links. Elephants and apes crossed the African-Eurasian divide. Animals like rabbits, pigs, saber-toothed cats, and rhinos were sent to Africa. Elephants and rhinos crossed the Bering Strait on their way to North America. Horses turned around and walked in the opposite direction. Raccoons fled south as ground sloths migrated from South America to North America. Even rodents may have made the journey from Southeast Asia to Australia via the Pacific Islands. Many of the enormous forests that blanketed the continents from shore to shore and from pole to pole slowly gave way to grasslands, a habitat better suited to the colder and drier conditions as the climate changed. However, that toughness came at the expense of nourishment. Animals that eat plants had to evolve in order to survive. Horses thrived as their teeth became stronger and more enamel protected. Bison, camels, sheep, and giraffes, for example, have segmented stomachs that are well adapted to digesting grass. Many of the grazers were swift and traveled in herds, demonstrating novel strategies for surviving in the open. Their predators had to adapt as well. Asian and African apes parted, and hominins split from their nearest African ape predecessors, the chimps, several million years later. Early hominins emerged from the trees, adapted to two-footed walking, and began to carry food and tools in their hands. In the centuries ahead, these new species were poised to have a profound impact on the globe. In the oceans, kelp, a new species of huge brown algae, clung to rocks and reefs in shallow cold waters, which create new homes for sea otters and dugongs, a marine animal related to elephants. Sharks multiplied in number and once again ruled the oceans. Megalodon, the world's largest shark, measured about 50 feet, 15 meters, in length. Talking about the climate worldwide, it became seasonal, continuing a long-term drying and cooling trend that began at the Paleogene's beginning. The ice covers on both poles began to thicken and develop, and by the conclusion of the era, the first of the present Ice Age's glaciations had begun. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and share if you like our content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.